Today, I'm going to be talking about this piece of shit. Hey, what's up, good people? Welcome to another episode of whatever this video series is called. And in this episode, we are going to be talking about the SPAMF by Gavin Fuzzy Customs. And the SPAMF stands for, well, SPAMF. It's kind of hard to say SPAMF, SPAMF. Spam. But anyway, spam stands for slide prime action mag fat falcon fire. So that actually should be spam. Anyway, this is what my spam looks like. It is made of clear purple filament as well as very beautiful neon yellow accents like the trigger, the mag release. And I know you can't see it, but the nubs here used to hold the mags in place is also in neon yellow. And there isn't really much backstory to this. Basically, Gavin reached out to me and asked if I was interested in taking a look at his spam and well, I didn't have a Falcon Fire, but that gave me a reason to buy one because this kit, when I found out it was going to be purple and neon yellow, there was no way I could decline him. Like, no, no way. It's just too sweet. Okay, except that this part is orange, but Gavin could maybe in the future design something that would go on here. But anyway, anyway, it is a wonderful product despite what I said at the start of the video. Yes, you guys, it's kind of like clickbait, you know, but anyway, when I said it's a piece of shit, you know, sometimes you could use the word shit in a good way. So this is, this is the shit, you know what I mean? Like this is the shit. I really, really like it. It's awesome. It's very well made and it's a super simple installation. Like think about it, it's not just a drop-in body kit that requires no shell modification besides just opening it up and swapping parts out, but it also has a dedicated breech and it even has a spring spacer or a spring rest if you want a little bit more extra power out of a spring. And what's even better is that the barrel is modular as well. I will share more details in the later part of the video. But for now, I want to share with you guys the installation process and it's really simple. Trust me on that. I will show you every part that comes with it and how simple it is to just make the switch and just swap it onto your Falcon Fire and make it a spam.
Welcome back. Now at this point of time, I want to give a shout out to Walcom S7 because I actually watched his video before, uh, you know, actually receiving this and I was like, wow, his pink version looks really cool as well. Now he called it the Mauser conversion kit and while it does look like a Mauser, I'll just put a picture here somewhere. I'm not really good with firearms. I do believe that it also looks or resembles very much the Tech 9 or like there's a few versions of the Tech uh, I guess automatic pistol but it does look a little bit like that because once you put the mag in it's just gonna look awesome and just a disclaimer I set the lighting up in such a way that when I raise up the blaster and it covers my face you know it's all shadowed over here because that's not the main point I want you guys to look at this this beautiful detail on the kit this goes so well with the Falcon Fire I feel like the Falcon Fire should have been made in this way you know nothing short of the very awesome and beautiful designs that Gavin always puts out you got so much details here so much details here you've got a 20 millimeter Picatinny rail on top as well you've got even a window slot here and this actually houses some pet G barrels and you guys saw in the installation video that you could actually swap the barrels out yes that is if you want to change your barrels to another barrel for example if you want to swap it out to brass or if you want to use say a uh, CPVC I believe that CPVC might actually fit in here and I'm talking about half inch CPVC even though we don't have that here in Singapore you guys in the States have easy access to half inch CPVC but I don't know if that is what the Nerf standard uses today but if you wanted to you could swap it out for brass or you can swap it out for another barrel material of your choice but this one here is PETG or PETG and it works perfectly fine now this kit is going for 68 Singapore dollars and that to me is a steal because you don't just get a body kit you get a fully functional body kit with a functional mag release lever as well as two different notches to hold both talent mags and katana mags i apologize beforehand because i don't own any katana mags because i'm not sponsored by jet uh, if you want to sponsor me well uh, you could consider but i don't know if i will accept anyway but no worries i do have a talent mag so i'll be showing you guys a firing demonstration shortly it also has a very nice replacement trigger that feels super comfortable you've got like i said 20 millimeters picatinny rails on top here and it is a proper functioning picatinny rail by the way you also get a brand new pusher that has a really good seal with the lip at the front and it's just an amazing thing because I know you know Gavin Gavin's just amazing that way so you know for 68 for a fully functional thing like literally a drop-in kit that has all functions covered it's just awesome it looks really really good it fits on really well and I will just stop rambling about it because this is a wonderful product and I'm gonna give you guys a quick firing demonstration here I have a talent magazine with six cut down at your fake darts yes guys i've upgraded i have upgraded no longer am i using vinyl tip darts or the fpjs i am using accu fakes from that distance you guys might not be able to tell but these are no longer fpjs they are all now accu fake darts and i think accu fake darts are actually pretty cool so i cut them down to about the length of average stefan's and i'm going to give you guys a quick firing demonstration i have six darts in here and they will fire off flawlessly let me just show it to you guys so Gotta pull the slide back first and unfortunately because it is not a katana mag, I'm not able to just load in darts on the fly. Oh yeah, by the way, look that lid there, neon yellow as well. So, fits in, very very secure, mag release works perfectly fine as you guys can tell. So, can't yank it out and I also am unable to shove it in like that or slam it in because the tolerances here or the gaps here are just a little bit too tight. Because the space in between the lip up here of the mag is just too narrow that it won't bend out and fit around the pusher piece so that's a little bit unfortunate but I guess it's kind of like for safety reasons so here we go every time I push the slide forward you should be able to spot a little bit of the dart moving in here so all six darts here we go all six out with no issues no jam nothing it doesn't chew darts it doesn't well it just works really really fine and to me, that is pretty amazing because, you know, sometimes a pusher system might misalign a little bit and then you would start to shave off darts or you get a lot of jams and everything. But this is done in such a wonderful way that there's no jams. Uh, the ramp around the lip really helps to guide the darts in and because it is an O-ring featured at the uh, end of the pusher, it is offering you a pretty good seal. Now, I'm not able to just block up this area because there is a little lip around where the pet G lies, but I'm gonna try my best anyway. Uh, let's see if I can plug this up with my pinky. Yeah, you guys should hear that. I'm gonna bring this closer to the microphone so you can hear the air leak. 
Hopefully you guys heard that. I hope that it got picked up by the camera microphone. The next thing I want to mention to you guys is that in the installation video, I showed you guys that I actually put the spring spacer with the upgraded spring. I have taken that spring spacer out because I realized after putting everything together and using it for a little while that the full compression was actually causing the end cap to warp a little bit. So tolerances were a little bit too tight. Uh, so I actually removed it and it's working perfectly fine now. However, if you're using the stock spring, you could add that spring spacer if you don't want to upgrade your spring load just so that you could get a little bit better compression it works it works so it really depends on the brand of springs you're using the thickness of the coil the number of coils and everything just try it out it's all trial and error you know it's not rocket science just try it out and just test it out and see what works for you but for me this is awesome and i think the barrel length is adequate for the spring load that i'm using this one is i believe a five kilogram spring with the standard spring compression without using the spring spacer at the back now if you guys are using a stronger spring load i would suggest having a slightly longer barrel maybe you could even upgrade it with say for example an artifact barrel or maybe another metal barrel that is available in the market today you know just different lengths for different spring loads it might improve your performance but for me right now, this PET-G is perfectly fine. So I wasn't able to explain that in detail properly uh, in the installation video because I wasn't changing out my barrel. So I'm going to verbally, wait, let me just put this aside. I'm going to verbally explain to you guys how to change out the barrel and trust me, it is really, really easy. So I pointed out these two screws over here at the front of the barrel. Just unscrew these, then you can slide the barrel off or the front piece, I should say the muzzle piece off. And then you could just remove this particular lip. Remove that lip, then use the barrel removal tool that Gavin includes in the kit. Yes, it comes with the kit as well. Just push out the barrel from the back. It slides right out. Then just grab your new barrel material, push it in, put that lip back in place, and then just screw everything in and that's it. It's really that simple. You might have to use some e-tape or some kind of a glue if you want to really keep the barrel in place. But right now, this pet G is being held friction fit. So that actually says a lot about the tolerances and everything that Gavin has put into this particular design so a lot of thought a lot of good engineering and a lot of good calls i believe that he's made it's just a super no-brainer and i think it's a wonderful product thank you gavin for actually reaching out to me and sending this to me because i am super proud of this thing like i mean now that i have one of these mags finally there's another use you know because i've been an advocate of using systems that are able to accept both full length and stefan length darts but then i had this because nf strike sent this to me via worker and then i was like I don't know if I'll ever use this or if I'll have a practical use for it, but now I do. I do have a practical use for it. So thank you, Gavin. Thank you for that. And thank you for this kit. It's a wonderfully made kit. Very good detail, super easy installation, and it really changes the entire aesthetic of the Falcon Fire. And now I like to call this the Tech 9, the Nerf Tech 9, even though it is called the Spanth. So if you guys are interested, I'll put a link down in the description box down below uh, to Gavin's web store or Etsy page. Oh yeah, Etsy page, as well as his Facebook group. If you're interested, hit him up, send him a DM or something. It is really worth the money. Under 70 Singapore dollars to me it is a steal and that's about it everyone thank you so much for sticking all the way throughout and watching i really appreciate it and because i don't want to make any empty promises or give you guys high hopes for no reason i don't want to say that i am back to make even more videos for this channel the reason why i'm able to take a video for this is because i'm actually changing jobs no i'm not becoming a full-time youtuber today is an off day tomorrow i start work at a new job yes guys it's a new career journey a new career path for me so a little bit excited about that a little bit uh, a little bit nervous i gotta admit to you guys i'm a little bit nervous about the job change but very excited because i'm looking to start off a new career path for quite a while now so 2019 was the year that i decided i will make a big change in my life and changing my jobs is one of them because it's a completely new industry to me and once again thank you for watching thank you for listening if you are new to the channel hi welcome if you are a returning viewer wow uh thank you you guys stuck around you really did i really appreciate it it's it's like uh how should i say this like i upload a video like once in a few months sometimes like once a year i don't know if i'll ever do once a year but then you guys just come back and it's an influx of love and i really appreciate it so thank you from the bottom of my heart you guys are just awesome. Uh, I really feel the love and the encouragement and support. I'm just grateful that you guys aren't like the demanding sort of people that I want more videos here. You should do more Nerf stuff because I really don't have the time to commit to it. And it's it's quite expensive, you know, like a lot of things aren't sponsored to me. So I'm really thankful that, you know, Gavin reached out and said, I'm going to send you this kit. So I had to source a Falcon Fire for that, but no regrets. This is actually pretty awesome. So yeah. Uh, I'll, I guess I'll end this video here. One last look at this this beautiful, beautiful spamf. 
Slide Prime Action Magvet Falcon Fire, aka the Nerf Mauser, aka the Nerf Tech 9. Drills pay the bills and teamwork makes the dream work. Peace.